Mary, first child, Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Akhara, the angel sing, the king is born today. And may he live forevermore. Why? Because of Christmas Day. Jesus is the reason for this season. Is the reason for a Christmas at all. Merry Christmas to you. May the reason for this Christmas, which is Jesus Christ, be real in your life, be real in your situation, be real in your circumstances in the name of Jesus. May it not just be another season to eat rice and chicken, maybe a season of a counter. In the redeemed Christian Church of God, since the beginning of the weekend, you know, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have been going about preaching Jesus, the reason for the season. And today at Ikorodu, we'll be having a session, a Father's Blessing with Daddy G.O., which by reason should be on now. Now, this is pre-recorded and so that I also can be at that meeting. So, and if you live around in Korodu, the Lagos University of Technology, that is uh, formerly Last Protect, we are meeting just there. You are invited. Praise the Lord. And I want to remind you that Jesus is still knocking at the door. He's not just for salvation, but he wants to be in the center of your life. And so if you have given your life to him, allow him to be the Lord over your life, the Lord and Master. And if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and Master, you need to take that decision. That's the best thing that can happen to anyone. Now today, this recording is for the whole week. So that means from today, Monday 25th, to Saturday the 38th of December. And now that means that the next time that we are recording and talking to you is going to be in the new year. Hallelujah. Thank God today is a public holiday. Tomorrow is also a public holiday. So I believe God with you that you are going to use this time well. Now, I ask a question all the time. I say, when does a student read for an exam? People say before the exam. So you should be praying and thinking and planning for 2024 now, not inside 2024. And may the Lord lead you aright in Jesus' name. That's why today, this recording is for the whole week and the, quest, the topic is about personal development. And we're going to see different people how they move from where they are with god on their side and that's why you need jesus in your life to be your lord and savior and i believe that the lord will bless us our test is from second corinthians 3 17 and 18. but before we go on let us pray father in heaven we thank you for the gift of jesus christ thank you for you so love us that you gave us your best and that's why the scripture says if you can give us your best what else can you withhold from us Thank you for being God. Thank you for being gracious. Thank you for being a loving Father. Just like the theme of our Let's Go Out Fishing read, the everlasting Father. What a Father you are. We thank you. Please, love, by this recording, we ask that you will please speak to us and that everybody will be able to have a contact with your world, that they may, light, they may receive the lighting that the Lord lights everyone for good in Jesus' name. Amen. So I read our text to you, 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. I'm reading the New Living Translation. 17 and 18, 2 Corinthians 3. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom. Freedom to improve. Freedom to be better. Freedom to progress. Freedom to be free from bondage. Freedom to be free from self. Freedom to be free from all form of evil and captivity. So, all of us who have had that evil veil removed, all of us who have had that evil veil removed, there's a veil that covers men from sin reality. It says, can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him 
we are chained to his glorious image. Hallelujah. Chained to his glorious image. And that's why today, I just want to mention the story. If you look at Genesis 37, even from verse 1 to the end, you see the story there. Genesis 37. But if you read from 4 to 8, the Bible says that Jacob had these children and he loved Joseph extremely. And because he loved Joseph extremely, his brother don't like him because the father his father loved them and because he always tell the father whatever the events are and the father bought him a coat of many color and they hated him more and he went ahead and dream a dream and in his dream he said they are all bowing down for him oh the scripture said they hated him more but sir he moved from dreaming personal development you know his story his work with god when you are involved with God and you are developing yourself with God in your life at the center of it with his name as your focus you are going to improve he moved from a dreamer to a dream uh, interpreter and in Genesis chapter 41 41 and 42 Pharaoh say oh Joseph I made you to be head over the whole of Egypt and you are going to be riding in my own chariot my own chariot sir every man that make God their center will always improve. And that's the best way for personal development. The Lord bless you. Be changed.